Hey guys, thought I'd do a little tutorial on how to mod the Pizzeria Roleplay Remastered. Uh, for the introductory video, we're going to go over how to get a place set up. So let's just hop right into it. Essentially, the first thing you need to do is get yourself a copy of the place, or one of the places. See, the game is split into different parts. I have specific parts that are for you to take, this one being the lobby here. You can also take any of these places here if you want to use that as the base. For now, I'm going to start with 1993, so I'm just going to click on this link, go over here. It'll look like the same place, but it really isn't if you look at uh, likes and dislikes, especially the URL. It says specifically, specifically a different place. So I'm going to open this up with a little edit. The three buttons there, uh, the same thing will show up on your screen. So since I'm a developer, it, it'll let me publish back to the same place that I edited it from, but uh, you'll not be able to do that. So what you're going to have to do is you'll have to save this to your own place. And uh, the way you do that, you go to File, you go to Publish to Roblox As, and then depending what you want to do with it, you can either make it a, a, a personal place or a group place. It's your choice. I'm going to make it a personal place, call it modding tutorial. Might as well uh, make it public. I'll link it in the description of this video so that you know it's working. So as, as you can see, uh, the little tab here changed its name to modding tutorial meaning that we are now in the modding tutorial place. One more thing that you'll need to set up here is if the windows here do not look like yours, then you'll need to do a little bit of uh, manipulation on view. Oops, let's get that re-expanded. So the Explorer tab, uh, these the Explorer and the properties should be open automatically. If they're not, uh, go over to the View tab here, they are just on the far left. The output is less important, but if, especially if you're going to be modifying script data or anything like that, you're going to want it visible just so you can see errors that might crop up. That is accessible right here. Uh, this game tab is a little bit less important if you're dealing with only one place. If you're dealing with multiple places that link up, this becomes invaluable. And then the toolbox here is going to be what we're going to need to insert the data model, which we will get to in a moment. And that is found right here. So now that you have this place, you might want to try it out. You're going to quickly find out that it's going to be stuck loading something that it doesn't have access to. So the reason for that is for this game to work, you're going to need access to a specific model that contains all of the data of all of the animatronics. So how do we get this model? So in my Discord, uh, I have a modding channel. Uh, this has all the links, all of the information, and uh, has a link to a model right here. So this model, when you go to this page, it'll ask you to take it. Once you take it, go back to your game. Now you're going to want uh, to go to your toolbox tab here and hover over these little four squares here. This is your inventory. So under my models, and you're going to want to insert the base animatronic data. Uh, so when we insert the model, it automatically shows up in workspace. So we're going to have to take this model and we're going to have to drag it into economy. If you can see all the animatronics, all of the gears, even OC parts, everything is included in this model. So you are going to want to take it, hover over economy and server script service, and drag it in. So once you have that in there, you may think that you should be able to play the game just fine. However, there's a few more things that we have to do to make sure that everything runs properly. So as you can see in the output, uh, I just tried to run the game and it gave me an error. It says, cannot write to data store from studio if API access is not enabled. Well, we need to enable API access. Another thing we need to do is we need to make sure that only R6 players can join the game. We can't have any R15 avatars. 
since the game is designed with R6 in mind. So for the avatar, we're going to go to the game settings, which is under home at the top bar. And then we're going to select R6. Another thing we'll have to do is enable API access from Studio. You're going to want to go to the Create tab. I already had it open here. But from any page, you click on Create. You're going to want to go to the game that you just created. You're going to want to click Configure Game. And then you're going to want to click this here, Enable Studio Access to API Services. This will let Studio access the data stores, which are the method of saving data across different sessions. So once we have that in, you should be able to play the game just fine. So you can walk around as Freddy, and laugh, dance, whatever, doesn't matter. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope this helped you get your game up and running. And I look forward to seeing what you guys have to create. Alright, until next time.